Through its membership of the EU, the UK currently has 37 free trade agreements with over 60 countries outside the EU, for example, with Korea. When the UK leaves the EU, it must also leave these trade agreements. These agreements are important for the UK economy as they account for over 15% of total UK imports and exports of goods. The UK government intends to roll over these agreements so that they continue to apply, known as grandfathering. The aim is to try to maintain existing market access for producers and consumers. But some partners might be a bit prickly about this and may want to negotiate new terms. And while you might think these agreements are just between the UK and a given partner country, in fact, the EU is there on the sidelines. There are two aspects to this. Firstly, with a free trade agreement, FTA, you only get duty-free access for the goods that you make in your own country. So FTAs contain rules which require producers to prove that the good being exported was really made in their country. These are known as rules of origin. They are pretty complex. Currently, a country such as Korea, which has an FDA with the EU, can export a good to the EU and no tariffs are applied. Or it can export the same good to the UK, where it can be used as an input into UK exports to the EU. And because the UK is part of the EU customs union, again, no tariffs are applied. But post-Brexit, suppose the FDA is rolled over for the UK, and suppose the UK and the EU have a FDA, if the Korean input is used in a UK good, which is then exported to the EU, a tariff may apply. This seems illogical. If the UK, Korea and the EU all have FDAs with one another, one solution would be for them to agree to allow inputs from any of the partners to count for working out whether enough of the good has been made in the exporting country. This is called diagonal accumulation. But the EU can be prickly on this, insisting that this can only happen if all three countries agree on the same rules of origin, which have to be the EU's. Even if the UK grandfathers the agreements, trade will be affected. If they cannot agree on diagonal accumulation, those impacts will be even bigger. A second reason why negotiations may involve the EU is tied into the trade agreements the EU already has, such as with Korea and Canada. These stipulate that for some services, sectors and investment flows, the EU cannot offer a better deal to other countries without offering such a deal to Korea and Canada as well. If the UK rolls over the agreements, it will inherit these clauses and this will impact on future FTAs. If the UK and the EU sign a great deal on services and investment, the UK will have to offer that deal to Korea and Canada too. All this might impact on what is possible to negotiate and what the UK wants to negotiate. To keep business rules as they are now, we can't just cut out the EU and paste in the UK in existing deals. Grandfathering will impact on trade and the process is not just bilateral. It may also involve the EU. And all this needs to be sorted out by March 2019.